Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to build logo mockup inside Adobe Photoshop. We are going to create it from scratch, but we need some assets that you can download for free from following the link on the description. First is mega pack of six thousand gradients for Adobe Photoshop and I will show you how to install them and how to use them in this application. Second two links are for our images that helps us to put an reflection and fourth link of the description is for our, for our perspective wall that helps us to create a perspective mockup and as always if you don't want to spend your time and create this mockup you can download it following the fifth link in the description for absolutely free for from vitorials.net so if you are ready let's get started with our logo mockup here inside adobe photoshop so first let's start with the, our gradient pack go to the first link in the description and download our gradients pack and zip it and navigate to the folder with your Adobe Photoshop application. In my case, it's program files, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop, then presets, go to the presets and then find your gradients. Select all of these uh, gradients here and put them right here. After installing your gradients pack, you need to relaunch your Photoshop application and go to the file new and create a new document. Then we need to place our first image. So go to the file, place link it and navigate to the second link in the description and load your first image. So for my first image, uh, I'm gonna grab this, apply the changes, go to the image and trim the uh, transparent pixels. Image trim trim the transparent pixels. So now we need to go to the filter, distort and wave. And with our wave we need to set these parameters. Wave length to 200 uh pixels mean and 240 uh, max and amplitude from 5 to 10 so we should achieve this wave distortion and then we need to define a pattern from this image so go to the edit uh, define pattern name your pattern accordingly uh, office office room or something Click OK to create a pattern. Now we can close this image. You can also go to the third link in the description and place this outdoor image and use it as a pattern for your text. But I'm gonna work uh, with only with this image because I want to save your and my time. <clears throat> so let's start with a new Adobe Illustrator document. I'm gonna size it with 1920 by 1080, 300 pixels per inch. Click create. Let's start with unlocking this background and go to the layer and set a new fill layer, new gradient fill. I'm gonna name it as a gradient, but it serves us as a background. I'm gonna um, change my default gradient to the black and white gradient and then double click on the uh, black color stop and set a color to 4 to 4 to 4. The deep blue, sorry, and uh, click OK. Now I'm gonna double click on the second gradient 
and set it to 1b, 2f, 5b. Really nice. And click OK. Now uh, go to the style and from drop down menu set a radial style. As you can see we have this nice deep blue gradient with a uh, uh, centralized dark uh, color stop. And I'm gonna increase this uh, dark color stop to 200. Setting scale to 200%. Click OK. And now go to the layer, go to the fill layer again and create a pattern fill layer. I'm gonna name it as a office and I'm gonna choose my uh, pattern, this office image. I'm gonna scale it a bit to 133% uh, percent and click OK. Now go to the uh, blending mode of this pattern and set it to liner dodge. Like this. Then we need to set the fill color, uh, fill opacity and set it to 25%. Click enter and let's start building our a final mockup with Ctrl Shift N or Command Shift N on your Mac. Create a new empty layer. I'm gonna name it as a place here. Now convert it to the smart object using your right mouse button key. Let's place some uh, content here. I'm gonna fill it with the text. So grab your type tool. I'm gonna name it uh, as a tutorials. I have a bold popping text, uh, poppins is a, a type family, uh, and I set it to 72 uh, points. Uh, now I'm gonna leave my smart object and with my control shift right bracket place my text in the top uh, of this uh, gradients. Now go to the fill and set fill to zero. So now tech, our text is now disappear. Now we need to go to the layer style and start with the first effect is bevel and emboss. And for this particular effect, we need to set style to inner bevel, technique to smooth, set the size to four pixels, set the soften to two pixels. Use your global light options, but set the angle to 120 degrees. Click tab to proceed. Now we need to set a close contour to rolling slope. This from second roll. Go to the highlight mode and set the blending mode to soft light and color of this blending mode to D6, D6, D6. Set the opacity to 25%. Shadow mode set to blending mode to multiply. Set the color to 4C, 4C, 4D. And for opacity set 75%. Uh, check contour and navigate to contour. Double click on the contour. We have uh, our preset half round. Click OK. Set the range to 50% uh, and, and check this anti uh option. Now go to the inner shadow. And with our inner shadow, we need to set the blending mode to color dodge. Set the color to 4D, 4D, 4E. Click OK. Set the angle of uh, use global light and uh, leave it to 120 degrees set the distance to 3 pixels set the size to 10 pixels and leave other uh, options as a default so go to the inner glow it's probably the most arbitrary option in our design um, I think it helps us to stand out but you can work without 
says the blending mode to soft light, says the opacity to 15%, color to white, and size to 7 pixels. Now go to the gradient overlay, the must have effect in our design. First of all, we need to set the blending mode to hard light, check this detail option. Opacity to 95 degrees. And from gradient, we need to click on this cock icon in order to open the uh, library, navigate to Chrome's and click on this uh, append button in the open dialog box. In the append dialog box, go to the third row from the end point of your default gradients. As you can see, there are my default gradients and these are my uh, third row. And Choose this faucet 140 and apply it here. Uh, in my opinion, faucet uh, 90 uh, work very well as well. But choose 140, click OK. Uh, click align with the layer, angle to 90, star learner, scale 100%. Go to the pattern overlay. And I'm gonna set the pattern overlay to this uh, room, office room here. Set the blending mode to soft light and set the opacity to around 40 degrees. You can degree, uh, you can set it in the range of 25 to 40. It's worked very well. And now go to the our main option. Our main style is the drop shadow. So go to the drop shadow and in order to uh, proceed our drop shadow set the blending mode to liner boom and set the color uh, that is resonates with our uh, background image background uh, uh, gradient it's gonna be 4b 516b click ok now go to the angle and set it to 15 percent uncheck use a global uh, use global light uh, option says the opacity to 100 percent is important says the distance to 11 spread to 10 percent and size to 8 percent and finally says the contour to cove deep check anti other sheet and click ok now we are added with this part of our tutorial as you can see it's uh, beautifully created uh, uh, Chrome text effect with the reflection and I'm gonna move it into the perspective and in order to do that you can download the fourth image in your uh, in our uh, uh, go to the fourth link in this uh, description and download this image with the perspective wall I'm gonna open it right now I'm gonna go to the uh, place link it perspective BG. I'm gonna align it here. Uh, we need to actually flip it, so I'm gonna go to the uh, flip horizontal like so. And now I'm gonna align some vanishing points according to this perspective. Um, a perspective wall and uh, first of all we need to place our design in the top with ctrl plus command plus then ctrl t or command t to open the free transform tool switch between uh, to the scale tool clicking on this icon on top twice hold ctrl or command and go with your with your points like so I'm gonna align it a bit here and here as well and click OK uh, and uh, as you can see we align it uh, and set it as a perspective now I'm gonna increase it a bit using the same Ctrl T command and place it like so so I place it my design in the perspective I place it in the wall you can 
a go on your own and uh, play with the options. Uh, but now I want to check whether my uh, design is working or not. So I'm going to navigate file and uh, place link it. I'm going to set navigate and find my latest logo. It's a simple PNG file, but Adobe Illustrator and PSD file work as well. Place it here and delete my placeholder text. Now I'm gonna leave this uh, uh, smart object and as you can see our mockup working as a charm. So you can download this mockup. If you enjoy this tutorial don't hesitate to give a thumb up, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friend. I want to thank you for following to the end. Don't forget to Check tutorials.net for my latest Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, Gravity Designer and After Effects tutorials. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day.